Brings us to 7.52 and the start of News Extra, brought to you by Intralinx. And here's Kevin Moon. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm wearing my purple today, hoping that uh, it might be good luck for the Rockies today. Denny's Royals beat my Rockies uh, last night, and uh, they'll play again today. And uh, we're classing it up once again on News Extra this morning with a couple of uh, very nice ladies in here from Seroptimus, Jennifer Rogers and Betsy Vidlack. And they have a big awards luncheon coming up uh, tomorrow over at the Scotts Bluff Country Club. So, Jennifer, Betsy, welcome. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, Jennifer, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us all about it. you got a big awards luncheon where you're going to give out a lot of money, right? We do. This is really the day where we get to see all of the uh, fruit of our labors throughout the year as we fundraise and, and try to get support from the local community. And this is about us giving back. So we have an application process that we accept um, you know, requests from local nonprofit organizations. And then we approve what we call our service awards. So tomorrow we're excited to be giving out $12,000 to 14 local agencies that are really all about helping women and girls in our communities. And so it's a very exciting event and we think we're going to have a great turnout. And this is just one of those ways that's Optimus gives back to the community. And you guys have a lot of members uh, now. When I was talking, uh, you get a lot of women going in one direction, and you guys can be pretty powerful. You got, what, just a little less than 50, right? That's right. Yeah, right now we have about 48 members, and we're always looking for more members. I think not only is Optimus great because it, it is, like I said, giving back to the community, but it's a, a really wonderful way to both network and get to know women that you may otherwise not meet in the community. And we have a lot of fun at our meetings and through our events and fun Razors and things that we do throughout the year. All right. Hand it over to Betsy here real quick. Uh, Betsy, uh, when you joined Seroptimus, uh, is, has it surprised you a little bit as to uh, what all you guys get done and, uh, you know, what your organization gets accomplished in a year's time? Yes, it is. I, I've been a member for about two years, and I really joined because I wanted to be able to give back to women and girls, and I thought that was such a powerful um, message. But it's amazing how many women volunteer their time and energy and um, everything they can to help women and girls in the community it's just amazing yeah and you have that bits and beverage fundraiser and everybody gets involved with that right yes Yes, that's a huge fundraiser for us. That's where we make most of our money, and we do that in January every year, and there's a lot of volunteer work that goes into preparing for that. All right. And uh, the other thing is, uh, you're, in addition to these service awards, and uh, there's a lot of different organizations. We may go through some of those organizations that are going to get some money tomorrow, but uh, you also give out some high school scholarships as well, right? Yes, we do. We have a, about $3,000 that we've given out this year for high school scholarships as well as our Women's Opportunity Award which is an award for a young woman who's uh, going back to college or, or enrolled in um, some educational program to help with her needs as she may struggle throughout the year. So Yeah, so it uh, should be a lot of fun tomorrow over at the uh, Scotts Bluff Country Club. Yes. We're going to uh, take a break, and then we'll come right back, talk more right after this. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Interlink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running. Not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk. Call Intralinks at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up, troubleshoot, and secure your wireless network. For weekly tips and information, friend Intralinks on Facebook at intralinks.net slash Facebook. And we're back on News Extra, and we're talking about Seroptimus today. And uh, Jennifer Rogers and Betsy Vidlack are here. They are members of the uh, Scotts Bluff County Seroptimus Club. And they meet uh, the first and third Thursday over at the Scotts Bluff Country Club. And uh, they've raised a lot of money through their Bits and Beverage fundraiser. That's their major fundraiser and some other things. Giving out about $12,000 in service awards. Another couple thousand in high school scholarships. And so, uh, Jennifer, you... Uh, uh, there's a lot of nice organizations, uh, well-known local organizations that have been getting help from United Way and other places in addition to your club. So why don't you mention some of these places that will get checks tomorrow? Absolutely. Well, for instance, we uh, fund Buckboard Therapeutic Writing Academy, Capstone, CASA of Scotts Bluff County, several programs at Community Action Partnership, uh, LifeLink out at uh, WNCC, the Scotts Bluff County Volunteer Center, uh, Special Olympics of Scotts Bluff County, the Midwest Theater, Doves, 
and the local GED program. So, you know, when you talk about the scope of, I think, what we're able to do with a relatively small amount of money in the grand scheme of things, like when you talk about United Way and things like that, we really think this is a great way to partner with some of those other organizations that are giving out monies. And again, this all stays locally here and is about improving our communities. That's the big thing is to help out these local local organizations. I think uh, when you when you give money and you give it out to some national groups, uh, you know, there's some great national groups, but uh, when you give money to local organizations, you really know exactly where it's going and what it's going to be used for, right? Absolutely. And one of the things at our luncheon tomorrow is we'll have some of the uh, program recipients, so not only the staff at these agencies, but some of the folks that are involved in the programs. And that's always a really great thing to hear their stories and how these wonderful agencies are helping people locally. All right. So, Betsy, you guys have 48 members now, and you'd still like some more? We would. So, uh, if somebody wants to get involved in Seroptimist, uh, how do they do it? Sure. You can go to the Seroptimist.org webpage, and that's the international page, but that will connect you to local clubs here and uh, contact information for us here, as well as just looking up Jennifer or I or any other members, and we will get you engaged. All right. It's pretty easy to do, and uh, you guys are around town a lot, so that shouldn't be hard to look you guys up, <laughs> yep. right? Yep. Okay. So, um, once again, go to the Seroptimist website, and they meet the first and third Thursday at the Scotts Bluff Country Club, so I'm sure you can yes. uh, find out if you call the Country Club, maybe you can... Uh, somebody wants yeah. to go up as a guest or whatever on a Thursday and, Absolutely. and go to one of your meetings and try to, you know, get to know you and, and so forth. I'm sure you'd probably accept them. I know we do it with our Qantas club. Too, yes. So same way. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, uh, good luck tomorrow, you guys, with Thank your you. awards luncheon. It should be great. What is this? How many award luncheons have you guys had? Do you know? Oh, goodness. A lot. Probably don't know. I asked you a question. You don't have any idea, but it's been it, quite a, a few, lot. right? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Our thanks once again to Jennifer Rogers and Betsy Vidlack. You'll probably hear more about it tomorrow when they give out uh, all the awards at their luncheon at the Scotts Bluff Country Club. Appreciate it, you guys. Thank you, Kevin.